how you guys doing? It's been a long time, huh? I just recently got back from ICAST 2019. Uh, it was a lot of fun and I was able to come home this year with a whole bunch of boats, which was very nice. Thank you, Pelican. For the past week, a lot of time has been spent just putting boats away, finding new homes for them and building some new racks. And as usual, I built them from reclaimed wood. These are some telephone crossbars, like you would see at the top of a telephone pole. They were very generously donated to me, and I quickly put them to good use. Uh, that's been uh, some pretty physical work. It's been challenging, just like getting out here and doing some fishing, because very recently I, I hurt my elbow pretty bad. I didn't do it whilst doing some sort of strenuous activity. It happened very simply as I was getting onto my boat. Here I'm reenacting how I kind of did it. I was just simply getting on. I slipped just slightly and grabbed my weight and something in my elbow went pop. Right away I knew I had done something pretty bad and worried about how long it was gonna last. Later that night it was black and blue and my range of motion was greatly diminished. Fortunately though, uh, my elbow was kind of like back to where it used to be. <sighs> Maybe I can do some fishing without wincing every time I cast. With the business, people still come by, they still rent boats. So needless to say, I've been a little bit busy and haven't made that many videos. But you can see that I am out here on the brand new Catch PWR. This is a really fun boat. Uh, with the trolling motor on it, it's proving to be a really neat fishing machine, especially when you have a, you know, a bum wing like I do. And if anybody out there had bad shoulders or anything, I could see this really being a boon for getting you out there, helping you experience a kayak experience, this uh, shallow water backwoods area, it's without having to paddle or even pedal, because that can be kind of strenuous also. So I think this boat is going to really fill the need for some people out there. Um, I've, I've already talked about it a little bit. Uh, I did it when I was at ICAST. I had some live feeds on my Facebook channel and if, uh, if you watched any of those, you saw that I might have had the phone sideways <laughs> once or twice. I'm, I'm really not that good with uh, Facebook Lives, but it was the easiest way to get some footage out from the convention. Those videos are still up there. They're on my Facebook page. If you haven't seen it, you can go there and check it out, where I talk about this boat, the new Catch 110, which Pelican has uh, introduced in another prototype boat, and that is a smaller version of the Catch 130 with the pedals. So a lot of interesting, exciting things coming up for the future. And hopefully there'll be some more videos in the future for you guys. So I really need to just lock myself away and do some editing. Meantime, I just wanted to give you a quick update and let you know where I've been, what I've been up to, and, uh, and this and that. If uh, you're interested in more iCast footage and stuff like that, there's people that I met at the show that have put all kinds of videos out for all kinds of different kayaks. AliX is one. I think I can leave a link to his channel in the description. Uh, 30 Miles Out has done some stuff, and uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of other channels out there in the meantime that will help give you some insight on that trade show. And I'll try to get back to work and do some DIY videos. I've got uh, one coming out just like the woodworking video I did, but it's going to be about starboard. That should be pretty neat. And uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's summertime. The fishing is kind of slow, but I still see swirls out there. I know there's fish in this river. And uh, I'll try to catch some of those too and entertain you that way. Meanwhile, I hope you guys get out there and do some fishing on your own.